If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Oh, I've been muted this whole time. It's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so he's calling the coin flip. He loses the coin flip. I mean, I, we lose the coin flip, so he's choosing who goes first. I believe he should choose to go first. Hmm. Okay, decent hand. item cards grab some metal instead of the water okay <clears throat> that's a good card to get okay so I actually think I want to grab the Marty here like I could grab the draw patch and then try and go for the attack, but <clears throat> this seems more consistent. Coco is available, which is great. Thunder Mountain is available, which is great as well. So let's go like this, like this, like this, like this. Absol, meh. The skateboard is nice. Absol doesn't, well, Absol actually could be good. He does have air balloons. And he's playing Big Charm. Okay, well, no attack for us, unfortunately. Couldn't find any of our outs. So we're just gonna have to, I guess, bench and pass. Oh well. Can't really get the turbo start that we stand it. TL, thanks so much for the follow. <clears throat> we see an acrobike. See an order pad. Tails, that's good. Yeah, imagine if I had got an item lock. My opponent would have been kind of dead in the water, honestly. And now, I kind of don't want to use this. Oh, never mind. After he GXs, the giant cape doesn't matter, so never mind. I was going to say something silly. <clears throat> One metal saucer gone is good. This is not great, I think. Acrobike. <clears throat> oh, I don't have water. Okay. 
Okay. We get Marty out of our hand, that's okay. Uh, not the best hand to get. There's a station for my opponent. I guess the best thing that I could find here would maybe be boss's orders. I guess. Best thing I could find here would be boss's orders. Okay. So, find the Dene. Ooh, so, okay, so because of the Dene, I am actually not going to, um, I'm not going to still wish first, right? Because if I find boss, like I said, that would be pretty, pretty great. No boss here, we do find boss there. Okay, this is good, I think. Yeah, this is really, really good. We go after this guy. And then I'm just gonna go Paralyzing Bolt. Yeah. And like, being two prices ahead against this station is gonna be pretty impactful. If we can lock him into, into this. He has no way to switch out right here. And he only has energy attachments left. He does have Intrepid Sword, obviously. Uh, he does get an energy though. Okay, well this will allow us to set up multiple of these guys. I'm not so sure that's gonna be too useful though. Okay, so maybe what I do is try to play towards another boss. And get a 1KO. Yeah, get a 1KO on this guy. Rotopath, thanks so much for the follow. Yeah, I don't see how we win, honestly. Well, okay, so I guess I would need to KO the active station. And then he knocks me out with his station. And then I have to knock him out plus... Plus stamp him, I guess. I hope he doesn't get KO on my Detene. Yeah, not getting the lock on that first turn was pretty pretty big. So I'm gonna rely on my reset stamp basically. Okay, decides to commit an energy to the active. I am surprised by that. Okay, no attachment there. Okay, another Tails on Turbo Patch. I think I'm 0 for 6 on Turbo Patches or 0 for 7 even. <laughs> uh, okay, I actually like the Toughness Cape on the Detene. I actually like the Toughness Cape on the Detene. Because here's the plan. Yeah, I, I don't like that he attached to the active. Mm, I don't know. We can't boss and Marnie at the same time, that's the issue. Maybe I don't boss. So I go KO Station this turn and then he knocks me out. Yeah, I knock him out with the item lock. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we'll take that. I was very worried. I was sure I was gonna lose. Like I wasn't, I was sure I was in a very losing spot, but turns out yeah, turns out that um, that wasn't. Yeah. Oh, oh. I just, oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we're getting an extension. Oh, that's why my opponent conceded. 
Okay, so redo. <laughs> redo, we're still 6-0. So, okay, so I was paired against the wrong person, but neither him nor I realized. And then I've had the organizer and my correct opponent, um, and my correct opponent uh, message me being like, hey, you're not playing the correct person. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie daisies. Okay, so there's a rematch from round six. Yeah. This is a rematch from round six, so let me check what my opponent is playing. Um, let me check before I decide. Cyclone, the Crusader, wait. Can't bin man, C9, me man, okay. Okay, so he's playing the triple Zamazenta. The triple Zamazenta ADP station deck. Okay. All right. So definitely going first is correct here, I think. My one gets one turn. And alrighty. Oof, if we had gone second though, <laughs> we would be in such a fantastic spot. Okay, the Jan Capes will be really, really big this game. We get turbo patches, let's go. Nice. Let's go Stawish. Uh, honestly, I'd rather just have the skateboard. Evan does play a tool scrapper, so I'm not gonna play that down. And then I'm just gonna pass. Well, what a chance that he has it on turn one. Very low, but ugh. he only plays, well, he plays three Marnies, not only, he does play three Marnies. So if we get Marnied, we get Marnied. And yeah, uh, cape on the Dene doesn't work. So that was a silly, yeah, but I'm not realizing until three minutes later. <laughs> so good call there, chat. Good call. Wins in the chat, yeah? For, wins for chat. Okay, so he plays no stadium. So that means when we find Thunder Mountain, Thunder Mountain sticks forever, which is great. There's the energy. You're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Metal saucer. Oh my god. What the heck, man? You're actually kidding me. <laughs> wow. What the heck? Okay, well, that's something I guess. We're not gonna be doing any damage whatsoever. <sighs> okay, wanna go after a Crobat? I honestly think I do. Could go after Jirachi as well. I'm not doing any damage to the Lucario Mill Metal. Yeah, I'm gonna go after Crobat. And I'll bench Rikorio and then I'll let it change. What a turn by my opponent. <laughs> what a turn by my opponent. So sick. 
Okay. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I'll establish the Absol. Yeah, I'll establish the Absol, keep that Crobat stuck there. And we'll go Paralyzing Bolt. So that Crobat should be good there, like four turns, unless he decides to model by. <clears throat> this is definitely not looking great for us though. Definitely look, not looking great. He has two model lanas and bird keeper. And my damage output is basically zero. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll do this and then I'll research. I need my giant capes, kinda. Although I'm not like super threatened. I'm gonna keep this for now. I'm just gonna go paralyze the bolts. And then we have KO next turn. Right, two prizes next turn, that's really good. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so 150 doesn't KO us. Can't flip heads. No, I flipped double heads the first time, right? It's just I'm doing zero damage. I am quite literally doing zero damage. So I need back to back attacks, I guess. Ugh. Okay, to find the energy, to have Coco, no sign of my stadium. So I think I have to attack him. He has four switches though. Okay, not the ideal that we want to see, but all right yeah there's metal saucer it's just doing zero damage is awful so I can only item lock oh my god are you kidding me man that's game over that is a hundred percent game over I am not winning this game I am 100% not winning this game. He just has back-to-back -back Malo Lanas. He has not played a single draw supporter. He just has back-to-back -back Malo Lanas. <sighs> oh, I should have used Story Choreo first. That was silly. This prevents me from going down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I do 20. And then next turn, I still don't have knockout. to save my life I'm pretty sure I'm dead here I am fairly certain I am dead okay I'm honestly gonna do this I don't see how I win this anymore I really don't 
The back-to-back -back Wild Wanas were just way too strong. Can't believe I marded him when he has over 30 cards into um, the Malwana. It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. He plays 12 energies, of which he's used 8 so far. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure I don't win this one. He has not played a single draw supporter. He did the GX attack without playing a single draw supporter. Okay, commits energy to the active. I finally draw an energy. Which I don't think I want to commit to the active. And I'm closer to decking out than he is. I'm in a rush to knock him out. Okay, we get more need. I think that's okay. This hit. He's only done one of his two bosses. I'm gonna do this and then I'm just gonna paralyze his bolt again. Maybe I should have killed Crobat. I did make him waste two energies though. Just goes for the Intrepid, so do I knock, well I definitely knock him out here, right? That's why I powered up. That is why I powered up. Oof. Yeah, I definitely appreciate this stamp next turn, I guess. Right, and so we'll take this knockout barely. Yeah, the metal saucers are just way too strong, and I had two energy prize. Nice. Wow, he promotes look metal. One, two, three, four, five. He does attach energy to himself. Does that help me win in any way at all? Um, I don't think it does. Okay, I get boss. I need another electro power, which I do not have. I need my giant cape as well, which I believe is priced, unless it's the last card in my deck. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna boss the station. And I'm gonna attach Paralyzing Bolt. So I have a plan. I need him to whip energy two turns and or Bird Keeper. The next turn I can KO him. Please don't attach. Please don't attach. 
He doesn't, okay. Okay, we have a chance here. We have a legitimate chance, okay. Uh, okay, if I research... If I research, I am guaranteed electro power. Right? If I research, I have eight cards left. I am guaranteed electro power unless it's the absolute last card in my deck. If it is, I lose. If it's not, I KO Sation. And then I win. I think. I think I did it. Unless he goes like Station Metal Saucers, right? Unless he goes crazy with Station Metal Saucers. Nice Thunder Mountain deck. Okay. He could go crazy with the Metal Saucers, and if he does that, he wins. If he goes Bench Station, Attach, Double Metal Saucer. There's one. If he doesn't win this turn, I win though. If he doesn't win this turn, I win. Macro. Yeah, he probably, he'll probably get it. There's one. And there's two. <laughs> Those were the difficult ones. Those were actually the difficult ones. Yeah, attaches, which. Uh, next turn I had Eldegoss KO Crobat. If I hadn't KO'd the Crobat... <sighs> it's so frustrating. My opponent had the everything every turn, man. My opponent had everything every turn. Pretty rough matchup. My opponent's deck is honestly pretty... Uh, my previous opponent's deck was, I mean... Um, like, it was pretty brutal and it drew pretty well. And he was not playing the Dene to not be uh, affected by power plants. So I thought that was pretty smart. And when you have a good list and you get like the hands that he got, then that's amazing, right? Oh my god, am I up against the CUI? No, I'm not. I'm up against Station ADP, we established. Hmm. Sneaky grass there. <clears throat> okay, so no energy attachment for me on turn one. No nothing for me on turn one. <clears throat> he doesn't have tool scrapper. He does have stadiums, however. So I'm not gonna play my stadium. Oh wow, he plays four crushing hammers. Ooh. That is really good news.
Okay, goes for the GX without the bonus. Does that mean all his waters are prized? Does that mean all his waters are prized? I don't think I'll be needing to heal. So let's go this, let's go Stellar Wish. Hmm. Let's grab the switch. I don't know if I'll need Electro Power anytime soon. He doesn't have any supporter switching card, so that's kind of good. And then I'll Marty. It's insane if he actually price both waters, though. So my giant cape doesn't matter because he used the GX. I wish Vigold was still metal resistant, that would be pretty good. Okay. Okay, so he decides to manually attach to the ADP. Does that mean? Hmm. So I kind of like going for Absol. I kind of like establishing Absol here. Yeah. Just to stop him from retreating if it comes to that. And then I'll do this. And I'll grab the Dene. Well, I could grab Crobat. Uh, yeah, I'll grab them here. I don't mind this carrying the lightning. Okay, not great. I don't want to lose the reset stamp. Really sucks that I can't find another Beacold, however. So I'll take the opportunity to Stellar Wish now. That's not great. Give myself the choice between Marnie and Research next turn. Oh, this turn actually. Never mind. I play a supporter. That's Marnie. Okay, well, still not great. Still no sign of uh, Vicolt. Still no sign of Vicolt. My opponent cannot retreat. Will he find the water? That is the question. Okay, just goes for a straight research. Okay, goodbye another hammer, that's good. Goodbye Eldegoss. Well, he, find, he found it. That's a problem. That's a really, really big problem right here. That's a really, really big problem. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give up on the item lock. <clears throat> the issue are those Metal frying pans, honestly. And I don't have a big gold on the bench. I really need to find a big gold so I can power it up or try to power it up. Come on, quick ball. No. Well, at least it's a Marty, so I don't lose their resources, but. <sighs> okay. Honestly, attaching to the Dene is not bad. The Dene is an attacker against Jirachi. So it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Okay, finally, I'll be able to get a Vika Volt. I didn't miss an attachment, which is also good. Um, does the switch help me in any way? It kind of does. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the KO here. Because I'm definitely gonna lose the Vika Volt. So, okay, my game plan is KO this guy, then KO the Dene and KO Jirachi. That's basically the game plan right here. And that's useful, right? That's useful as well. So between Oricorio, Crobat, I have KO on Jirachi, thanks to my Dedene. So it'll be interesting, yeah? He chooses to remove my energy. That's um, pretty good for him, right? However, 
I still have all four turbo patches, so I don't expect to get four heads, but I do expect to get some heads. Right? I do expect to get some head slips. There's the Star Wish. My opponent can switch out. How many switches is he down? Well, there's one. He was down two, so that was risky unless he already had a switch. That was risky unless he already had a switch. Okay, it's really, really good that he didn't go for the extra price though. It's really, 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 really good. I'm surprised he was like a little impatient with that. Like, why wouldn't you go for the water and just attach it? If you see my list and you know there's no hammers, right? Okay. So, nice boss. How many Marnies is my opponent down? Zero. And he plays two. Okay. So I definitely want to play this guy. Definitely want to use it before I do anything else. Okay, because if I get Coco, I can search for um, the Vika. I'm gonna go ahead and still wish. Turbo patch. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quick pull away the switch. And I'm gonna grab Vika Wolf. And then I'm gonna take the kill with the Dene this turn. So that if my opponent goes for Marnie, right? Um, oh, I just missed up. Oh my god. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I did miss up. Oh my god. Okay, focus now. So let me think this through. If I kill Jirachi with the Dene, if my opponent goes for Marnie, he, um, he takes away my boss, but he's not KOing Vika Wolf. If he KOs, um, the Vika Wolf, then all I need is um, all I need is another Vika Wolf and some head slips on turbo patches. So okay, so I definitely I definitely played this wrong. I definitely played this wrong. I definitely played this wrong. I think I did a change. Right, is it well played? Do I static shock or do I tingle return? I think I static shock. Because the paralysis could come in handy if I go resist them. Okay, I got a, a thing that's also decent. Because if I get my other electro power, I can just KO a station. So it's either Marnie or boss for my opponent. It is boss. Yeah, so I misplayed. I misplayed by playing that guy. Okay, so I need to find a quick wall. And some turbo patches. I need to find a quick wall and some turbo patches and I need to flip heads. Ugh. At the very least, I need to item lock. But even then, that might not be enough. No, I misplayed, I misplayed, I misplayed. I I, I didn't consider the, the boss good enough. Okay, so let's start with dance. And I have to go all out here, right? Okay, so please. No, come on. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to flip some heads here. I'm definitely gonna do this. No Vika Vault. And then I'm gonna go double Electro Power. If I don't win this turn, I'm dead though. If I don't win this turn, I am dead. So I only need one Vika right? The other space doesn't matter. So I'm gonna play Elder Gods. And get back Marnie. I mean, I'm gonna discard everything anyways. I'll play this. Okay, so off of this research, I need Vika Bolt, Energy, and Turbo Patch, and I need to flip heads on Turbo Patch. All right, please. Yes, let's go. Average. 
Let's go, GG. Oof. Wow. That was intense. That was very, very intense. GG.